So the current state of assessments is that we rely very heavily on standardized tests to measure learning. So much so that I think that learning is being defined as a score on a standardized test. And in many ways, as we move in the disciplines of mathematics and literacy into the common core with common assessments, and we also see teacher evaluation being based on assessment scores, we're actually upping the ante and making it, those tests even more important into school, in schooling. On the other hand, I think we recognize that there are a lot of other kinds of outcomes that we probably ought to be measuring. For example, non-cognitive outcomes turn out to be really important for people's life trajectories and even for achievement on these standardized tests. So measuring those and designing learning environments that promote those is really important. And that's probably a first step, I think, is because people recognize those are really important outcomes to be measuring. Part of the argument, I think, for connected learning is also very immediate. So how are we connecting young people to one another? How are we connecting them to adults that care? How are we connecting them to environments where they can build expertise that builds from their interests? And there are lots of ways we can go about measuring that that we're not measuring now. So assessment shouldn't just be about assessing individuals and what they learn, uh, whether it's cognitive or non-cognitive outcomes. It really needs to be about things like group processes. So if young people are collaborating with each other, how are they collaborating with one another? How does the team perform? It also needs to be about the kind of learning environment or setting that uh, programs and organizations are able to create. And we need to think about how we measure that. And ultimately, what we need is an assessment system, something that begins with a set of indicators of outcomes that we care about for young people, and that needs to include a broad range of affective and cognitive outcomes. I think there's a hunger for outcomes that relate to things other than achievement scores. I think there's a recognition that uh, the scores on a standardized test among the general public are not the only thing that we care about. 